All right, guys, I'm hosting a juicy giveaway. All you're gonna have to do to enter the giveaway is smash the like button, comment your name, and subscribe to my channel. It's gonna be a bunch of bond scrolls and so much more. So get prepared and let's get right into it. All right, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video on the RuneScape original channel. We are back for you guys on Ascension RSPS. Yes, one of the most fantastic 718 old scary Inscape servers with a ton of content, of course. All right, guys, now the first thing we're gonna do, and we typically do this on all servers but this server special is a juicy home tour because they have a lot of content within their home area and it is very well categorized by far in fact one of the most simplified juicy looking and clean servers that you're gonna see in the rsps scene is this one right here so of course you're gonna find all of the shops located in one area and this includes you know all your supply stores your melee store your range store all right here and they have a really nice emoji or an image at the very top to allow you to understand which shop this actually is without having to right click so again it makes your life a lot easier now, we do see the top part right there. We're going to pass by it and show you guys that at the end. You got the star on the right side, which is basically AFK training and gives you some stardust. I think it's called stardust, and that can be used for points. You're also going to have a nice little skilling area within this frame area for thieving. You know, be able to go ahead and woodcut, fish, all of that stuff. And there's even a bridge that allows you to cross to the other side, and that's going to have your own personalized grand exchange. And one thing that really caught my attention is how well they actually linked multiple areas together, where, you know, the home area is, I think, the Edgeville area. Then they created a bridge, put in the grand exchange, and of course, they have their own skilling area. Very smooth, very clean, by far one of the greatest servers in the RSPS scene. And of course, as you guys can see, in terms of their grand exchange, they are very, very simple and easy to use. And on top of all of that, they even connected the aspect of having Wilderness Slayer in this 718 Old Scarenscape server. So you're gonna have all your Slayer Masters in a very well and organized format. Now, this server, Ascension RSPS, is one that's gonna revolutionize and change the entire RSPS scene. Specifically, since it's a 718 Old Scarenscape server with a ton of content, including their own custom colon colon arena. Now, this is very unique and gives you the ability to do one on ones, 2v2s, and even 3v3s. You can gain points from them when you win these battles and lose points when you lose the battles and you need points to reach a certain rank. So of course, I don't know if you've seen this before, but it is 100% custom and unique to Ascension RSPS. You have a really nice area Ascension manager with waiting if you go ahead and actually join to battle. It tells you the models needed, it tells you the next rank, the defeat, wins, win rate, medals, rank, and so on and so forth. Now, you can use the points towards an Infernal Revenant gear that has a bonus PvP damage and PvP damage reduction percentage. So again, here we are actually in a battle against James. We're going to go ahead and hopefully kill him. But you want to grab some good gear. You want to go ahead and battle. You want to win these battles so you can then get some juicy points. These points can allow you to buy gear and even get an increase in your rank. So we're going to go ahead and actually speed up the clips, destroy him, and be right back. So we actually ended up losing this battle, but thankfully we actually won the one previous to this, but it doesn't take away from the fact that there is a lot of content that is very enjoyable on Ascension RSPS. And if you go back in your colon colon arena, it's going to show you the battle report, like our series has defeated James in a 1v1 battle, the rank, the medals, the win rate, which is 1, the defeat, 1, rank is corporal, the next rank, medals needed, 1k, and it's going to show you the recent fights as well. So very, very cool. Now before we move forward, did we actually begin to showcase the teleportation system and the content outside of their home area, let us go ahead and actually show some of their features. There's a lot of cool things in their quest app. Things like your player statistics, your account points, your scroll perks, and so much more. It only is going to be achieved through there. Now, they're also going to have a nice little green crystal, which if you actually click on, is going to unlock to you this brand new juicy area, which is a pin section for you to put notes. They're going to have the spin to win roller. They're going to have the settings panel and even a note section for you to add your notes. Now, this is of course all in addition to a bunch of other really cool things that you can play around with in their settings, which allow you to customize the gameplay the way you want to play it on their server. Just recently, four stones were added into Ascension RSPS. Four stones are used to be able to add a large variety of stats up to 25 into your account using the new Forge feature. 
Now, I'm going to show you guys a list of all of the stats that you can show, but an example of this is some added mage range and melee bonuses, which is actually really cool. Now, these four stones are actually acquirable through different event chests, rare drop tables, and even the bone shop. But yeah, I truthfully thought that these look very nice and are very useful. Again, here are some of the examples of the 25 bonuses that you will get, which is things like the melee range and mage bonuses, the plus 10 health, 1.5% PVM and PVP accuracy, and so much more. So again, you can feel free to pause the video, have a quick read at that, and then come right back. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and actually switch things up and talk about outside of their home area. Now, of course, their home area looks very nice, but they have a load of content that is outside of this area, and you can tell by clicking on their teleporter. You're going to see there's over five categories, the monster section, skilling, wilderness, and bosses, in addition to, of course, all the mini games that they have. With each one, you're going to find a ton of different teleports that you can go to, and you can simply click the star if you want to go ahead and favor it. Now, it has different training areas, Slayer, Smoke Devils, and a ton more, and here we are, we've just teleported to an area, and of course, we're going to click on this altar in the middle and I think it's going to send us all the way to a boss and if I recall this could be Schizoto actually. But yeah, what's really cool about this is that you can right click any NPC and then click on examine. It's going to show you the drops. It's going to tell you all the always drops, the common, the rare and all that. And of course it's going to give you a little bit of a ratio as to what are the chances of actually doing it. So again, here we are about to destroy Schizoto. I'm going to probably go ahead and try and kill him. Hopefully we do and then hopefully we get some bank loot. All right, here we are guys. We ended up actually eventually getting the kill. We didn't really get anything out of it, but we ended up teleporting all the way home as well. She gets all the other cool content that they have because again i don't want to dedicate this video just because uh, there's a lot of content and i don't want this video to be too too long but here's another one of the boss teleports that they actually have and you can call them bosses you want to notice that they're going to have everything like blink instance avatar creation sudden freak you can have things like bruce and the amethyst dragon if that's how exactly you say it can't exactly recall how it is pronounced but again here's the content that they have they have a ton of content of course so that you are never bored and now we are about to check out one of their newer bosses which is actually right here this is more of a sandy area called the lord of lightning as you guys can see the bank loot that you can get you can even get some very rares here you're going to commonly get dragon arrows but we're going to try and get the kill here for the lord of lightning and hopefully it makes a bank now we didn't actually get some food which is Honestly, a bad thing on our side, and we are about to die, but you never know what happens if we do a flip here. Put in some HP, put in some pre bonuses, and we are dead. GG, my boys. All right, guys, so we didn't end up dying, but I actually have a ton of mystery boxes in my inventory. And what we're going to be doing is actually opening the mystery boxes and showing you guys exactly what we can get. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the clips, put in some music, speed it up, and make it more enjoyable for you. That being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Join Ascension RSPS, and peace.